Hello everyone. I think I'm a bit late for Mental Health Awareness Month, but I'd like to talk about Sigma males. I'm sure you all know what a Sigma male is, but if you don't, may God take pity on you, for it is too late. The Sigma is ready to strike. Now, what does that mean? I don't know. And I'm not completely sure people who call themselves Sigma males do either. In order to gain information on what I believe to be the most socially damaging thing a young man can identify with since Ted Kaczynski, I have gathered together some comments on some of these daily Sigma affirmations I found on YouTube. I'm probably not going to play much of the actual videos because I want to focus on the comments. I mean, most of the videos you find like this are just an AI voice saying stuff like, The Sigma never truly shows what he's thinking. If you think you've caught a Sigma off guard, don't. He's known this would happen since you were born, even if you're older than him. He knows. The Sigma just operates on a different level. How? Well, that's because he isn't even playing the same game as you. To the Sigma, you're playing Candyland, while he's playing a game meant for true intellectuals, like Magic the Gathering. Because that's not for nerds, it's for a strategic genius, like the Sigma. I think the number one reason we shouldn't be messed with is that we are super kind, we'll always be ready to help you, and can be a great asset, unless you mess with us, of course. Then you're dead to us, and we won't even bother be angry. You're not worth it. This Sigma here is a pretty good introduction to Sigmas themselves, I think anyway. It's really confusing because none of them seem to agree on what a Sigma is. But if you don't understand what he's saying, let me paraphrase it for you. Becky rejected me and now she's dead to me. Ow! As a Sigma male, more than one bully in school learned what happened when I reached critical mass. When they hit that mark, it was quick, decisive, and permanent, meaning I never had issues with them again. I have no idea what critical mass means in this situation, but I've come up with a Google slideshow of what I believe the stages in this scale mean. The Sigma scale, created and presented by Pi. Stage 1. Quiet. Unassuming. He would never harm a fly. That is, unless that fly has a chainsaw. Stage 2. You've messed with the wrong Sigma. I've chosen an image here that I believe perfectly encapsulates what happens when you begin messing with the Sigma. He begins to go harder, think wiser, stack more, talk less. He begins plotting. Of course, you'll never know that. Stage 3. Critical Mass For this stage, I'm not 100% sure what happens when a Sigma reaches this point. Of course, nobody does, save for the Sigma. I've come up with two possibilities as to what it may look like when a Sigma reaches Critical Mass. Number one is that he strikes from afar, truly silently. He's a natural born hunter, and you are the hunted. Number two, he goes full wolf. Some may say that this doesn't fit with the Sigma, but I believe this means that the Sigma goes full wolf and eradicates his bo- <coughs> I mean, enemies. Stage four, he's gone, never to be seen again, and nobody ever knew he was there. Couldn't agree more with the video. Everyone who tried to mess with me ended up fearing and respecting me. Sigmas truly run the show. Others are mere spectators. We will never know if what this man says is true. Sigmas may run the show. They could very well be the real world leaders that we all unintentionally bow down to, but we'll never know because they run the show. We can speculate, but in reality, that's what the Sigma wants. Because with his psychic Sigma powers, he will force you down the wrong road. Because your mind is weak compared to the Sigma. And if you, by some stroke of divine intervention, if you do get too close to the Sigma, he will see it as an attempt to mess with him. And you will end up fearing and respecting him. As a Sigma male, in my school days, I was shorter than the other boys. So I got picked on quite a bit. I was put up a grade because I was good at maths and even more physically disadvantaged. I've always been very observant and calculating. I always got revenge on my bullies without them knowing who'd done it. I was in the 70s and I still laugh about how I got revenge and they were too stupid to suspect me and figure things out. Oh, and I had sex with their women too. Textbook Sigma right here. The intelligence to move up a grade, remaining quiet and unassuming, and that final line, 
It's like that episode of Futurama where they are walruses, and while the alpha male is killing Kif, the others sneak in and have babies with the female walruses. Those bullies never knew what hit them. These traits are pretty relatable. On that note, one thing I might add about us Sigmas, when we sense confrontation, one of the first things we do is sniff out weaknesses of the aggressor to exploit. Just another reason why individual boundaries must be respected. Well, Mr. Bond, I don't know how often there's an aggressor towards you or how many weaknesses you've had to sniff out, but you sound pretty dark, mysterious, loner, reject wolf badass to me. The high intellect, memory like an elephant, ability to remain calm when everyone else is panicking, and how time just slows down when I am in a dire situation, as if the universe is showing me a map of what needs to be done next, not to mention my intuition that never fails me, and my tenacity are all skills that have been prevalent throughout my life. I never saw myself as an alpha because I am not aggressive towards people, as a general rule, but this explains why I have always felt I don't belong among those types and why I choose solitude. This Sigma seems to be divine in nature. As a general rule of thumb, Sigmas are not prone to violence. However, their high intellect and elephant-esque memory allows something more to be discovered in their minds. Maybe the meaning of life is hidden in there. Maybe the solution to world hunger. Heck, it could even be the cure for cancer. The world will never know, for the Sigma will never allow you to know what he is thinking. What's amazing is that you've managed to gather so much information on Sigma males. We don't give much up. There are naturally variations on this theme, but you've pretty much get the core Sigma type nailed down. I will say that I at least have a love-hate relationship with not being well understood. Most people want to fit everyone into an alpha, beta, slash serial killer category, and someone who doesn't fit sends people into a kind of state of consternation. Usually it's best for a Sigma to let people think he's a beta until it comes time to act. Then the Sigma has to pretend to be an alpha to get something done. Usually as long as it takes for people to be shocked into submission until they reach a state where they sh slow down. Usually as long as it takes for people to be shocked into submission until they reach a state where they need to slow down and wonder what just happened. I didn't know what the word constertation meant, so Sigma has one up on me in the grammar department. Also, point two for Sigma, when I googled this word, I saw an image I didn't want to see. I guess this is what happens when the Sigma gets a little serious about the game of 4D chess he's playing. Man, thanks to videos like this, I have so much weird stuff on my computer now. Like, just for this video's thumbnail, I had to download a picture of Keanu Reeves and a wolf wearing Rick Owens. How am I gonna explain that if someone sees it? Anyway, I wanna take this break to say, if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to hit that like button. And if you wanna see more, there's always the option of subscribing to little old me. Clint Eastwood in the movie Unforgiven was a Sigma. The Sheriff was an Alpha. Val Kilmer in the movie Tombstone was a Sigma. Mel Gibson in Mad Max was a Sigma. Denzel Washington in The Enforcer was a Sigma. I haven't seen a single movie mentioned in this comment, so I leave it up to you, the viewer, to confirm for me. Being a Sigma helped me figure out a very good narcissistic woman, and she was very good at faking who she is, but I figured her out over time, little by little, observing everything and catching her in all her lies. You can't fool us Sigmas for very long. We will figure you out. And if you even try to manipulate us with bullshit, we will play your dumb game just as hard and reveal what's really behind your mask. My ex figured this out. She tried smear campaigning me all over town and online. And she found out that didn't last long at working. I know more about her than she thinks I know. And if I really wanted to do damage, I could with the info I know and proof I have. But I bounce back and she's not worth my time to waste anymore, but her narcissistic discarding. I'm not reading all that, but sorry for your loss, I guess. What's most sad about this is that this clearly isn't some 14 year old like I'd assume most of these are. This is likely a grown man who most likely went through a relationship that didn't work out. And instead of looking at it from the angle of maybe we just both had our flaws that resulted in the realization that maybe we weren't meant for each other. This guy decided that she was a soul sucking harpy who was hindering his Sigma energy. To me, this reads as I dick is big enough, goddammit. Simply put for me, I was very young when both of my parents told me, at separate times of course, that you have three brothers and four sisters, and look at you, you're growing like an only child. 
The story gets longer and complicated after that. I was there, lone wolf son. Simply put, you should stay in contact with your family. This one is the opposite of Sigma 9 because it's very likely a child who wrote this comment. The line, the story gets longer and complicated after that, to me reads as, that was last week, and now? <laughs> Let's just say I'm allowed to watch television after 9 o'clock. Also, it's really funny that he felt the need to specify at different times when he was talking about his parents pulling him aside for his lone wolf behavior. I used to be the odd one out, and it seemed to me everyone hated me and avoided me. It turned out I was in the middle of narcissists and sheep, and I was neither of those. So, I always stayed true to myself and chose my own path in life because... It would be so insanely boring otherwise. Okay man, it's all silly and goofy, but I want to take a second to say that you don't have to be different from everyone else to feel fulfilled in life. And that it's okay to just be a quiet person. You don't need to make yourself think that you're some silent badass to rationalize the fact that you don't have many friends or that you aren't as outgoing as the people around you. Labeling people who are different from you as narcissists and sheep when you yourself are admitting that you don't care enough about those people to actually learn who they are is ironically super narcissistic. And Needing a YouTube video called 14 Things Sigmas Do to tell you how you think and what your personality is makes you a sheep. I got a little bit heated there, sorry. That wasn't very Sigma loner Patrick Bateman of me. Thanks again for this. I know I am a Sigma male. Recently discovered and I have no doubts. It's like being given a shoe by a random stranger. It's like being given a shoe by a random stranger. And after putting it on, feeling like it was meant to be yours. Yours is spelled wrong, by the way. Oh no, it's over for us all. The Sigma has awakened. Hide your thoughts. The Sigma can sense them from a mile away. Except don't, because that's what the Sigma wants. This is what I imagine Anthony Spade was doing before he created the Sigma Nation intro. Get Alpha now. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Anthony Spade channel. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, I want you Totally agree. Managing emotions, negating the itch of impulsiveness and irrational behaviors are accurate. And mental warfare and calculated assaults are a propensity and a maneuver. Stripping away at your opponent piece by piece until the why and doubt transitions into the psychological framework leading to an eventual self-destruction in one way or more. I've done these types of maneuvers after being provoked. Who are you fighting? Who is the enemy that requires you to become Professor X to combat them? On that last thing about anger regulation, a colleague of mine in middle school remarked to me, I would hate to punch you in the face. You would become frighteningly intense. He understood. <laughs> This felt like he was describing me. Even as a child, I've seen what I'm capable of when I enter destroy mode. It scares even me. Thus, it now takes even more before I enter the destroy mode. Guys, I don't think I can continue this video. If I keep making fun of Sigmas, he might enter destroy mode. I know that the male archetypes are named after Greek letters, so I thought it would be funny to look up what a phi male would be. But all I got was the prostate health index and the urban dictionary calling me a woman. Since I couldn't find one built specifically for me, I now identify as a gamma male. My body is seriously damaged by radiation. Fear me in my short remaining lifespan. It's kind of sad that for most of these, I don't know which of them are old men and which of them are 14 year olds. One that really threw me for a loop was when I saw a 62 year old woman claiming she was a Sigma female. The community's inclusive, I guess. That's a good thing. The reason I made this video wasn't just to make fun of kids. Okay, it is. All I really have to say other than jokes and everything is... 
Just be yourself, man. Listening to these types of videos tell you what you think and how you should think is seriously damaging to your own social life. Don't get me wrong, it's completely okay to want to become a better version of yourself, but it's super harmful to your own mental state to look for someone to tell you who you should be. I find that it's a lot more effective to find what it is that makes you feel bad about yourself and work little by little to change that, by either changing or just accepting that it's a part of what makes you you. I'm not a therapist or anything though, so don't take my advice as the only way to go about it. If you seriously feel like you don't fit in with other people, or even worse, that people are out to get you, then talk to a therapist, a teacher, a parent, really anyone other than someone who makes Sigma male affirmation videos. Anyway, that's about all for today. I hope to see you all again, and goodbye!